testing one. Can you hear me, Mr. Young? Go again. All right. Can you hear me? The quorum being present, the meeting will come to order. Although I would anticipate that we will be through with this one before seven, I'm gonna abbreviate part of this. Um, I have in front of me a copy of the warrant for the special town meeting um, at the Brookfield Elementary School, 37 Central Street, on June 6, 2014, at 6.30. And it was posted um, by Bruce Skidder, Constable, at the Brookfield Town Hall on Wednesday, May 22. 214 at 110 and at the Brookfield Post Office on 115 the same day and Bruce has signed it. So the return of the warrant shows that it's been properly posted. So we will start. Article 1. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer or borrow a sum of money to the snow and ice account or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $45,325 from free cash to the snow and ice account. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? If not, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. All right, that's a vote. We'll, I didn't hear any no's, so we'll call it unanimous. Um, article 2, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer or borrow a sum of money to the Board of Appeals clerk wage account, or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Tomo. I move that the town pass over this article. Is there a second? Second. Okay. okay. Motion has been made and seconded to pass over the article. All in favor of passing over, say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. All right. Article three. Um, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate, transfer or borrow a sum of money from free cash to the fleet account. Mr. Moderator. This is Lincoln. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $60,000 from free cash to the fleet account. Second. Ah, good. I didn't, my hearing isn't so good. Okay, motion is made and seconded uh, to transfer $60,000 from free cash to the fleet account. Any? How much? Um, how about everybody going to the mic? All right. Actually, we have two mics. How much money do we have in free cash? Who wants to tackle that one? Mr. Moderator? Yes. I make a motion to allow our accountant to speak. Oh, I would second that. Do I hear a second from someone else? Second. 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 Okay. Well, all in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Town accountant, floor is yours. I can haul. <laughs> There's um, $358,989 free cash. Is this called free cash? Mr. Martel? Betty, does that count the snow and ice that we just did? No. Um, that's what was certified. You want to know what's left after the snow and ice? No. Why are you doing that? Is there a plan for the for this sixty thousand? Do the boards have a purpose in mind? Mm -hmm. 
We had, we, had, okay. we had an abundance of free cash, and we may be needing um, two police cruisers, so we figured we'd put the money in there, uh, so when they do need a cruiser, we'll have it there, and the selectmen will have the right to take it out at any time um, for the police cruisers, or one. But we have enough in there for two of them if we do need them. Um, doing the capital planning, they were supposed to get one last year and this year, and they're not getting it this year either, so... The money's there, so if something does go wrong with the cruiser, it's just a matter of time of getting a cruiser and taking the money out. And that's why we put more money into it. So it's allocated for two police cruisers right now. Okay, but capital improvement plan is supposed to be a five-year plan. Last year would have been year one. We didn't do anything. So right now, at this point, it's a six-year plan. And at this point in the plan, there should, be a, should have been six, correction, five vehicles have been addressed. So with this much free cash, why only, are we only dealing with two? Well, right now, we decided just on the cruises. We didn't discuss any other, uh, you know, vehicles. Okay. Did you consult with the capital improvement plan as to how they came up with their plan at this point? Yes, we did. Okay. And they didn't, have, they didn't advocate for more vehicles? Well, they were advocating one police cruiser because I'm on that committee. Okay. So all the, all the recommendations, all the reports they've been asking for from the departments for the last couple of years went nowhere? That's correct right now. Yep. Okay. Any other questions, comments? Okay, the motion is to transfer $60,000. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. Okay, that's a vote. Uh, article 4. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to pay two late invoices from FY2012 or take any action relative to this to Mr. Moderator. Mr. Conquart. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $47.03 from free cash to pay two late invoices from fiscal year 2013 or take any action relative thereto. Second. Okay, you've got FY213? Correct. That's okay. the way the motion is reading. Okay, good. All right. Any discussion? Okay, this takes a nine-tenths vote. So either everybody says yes and we call it unanimous or we'll stand and get a little exercise. <laughs> so we'll do it the easy way first. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. The vote unanimous. And article five. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow the sum of money to remove the old salt shed or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Tomo. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $2,500 from free cash to a salt shed removal account for the removal of the old salt shed. Second. Okay, there's a second. Any discussion? We've got two mics, so if you want to line up with the other one, you can do that. I don't one. believe $2,500 is enough mm -hmm. money. Someone want to respond we to that? We filled the old ambulance bond and took three dumpsters, and they were overweight when they left, and there was no concrete involved. There's no concrete in this one either. I do not believe that figure is enough to remove that salt shed. There's, a, there's a, almost a three-inch thick wall inside that building. That's pressure for you. Mr. Mutter? Yes. Uh, the discussion that I had with Herb was that the, the highway department was actually going to take a lot of that sidewall and store it. So that, that There's was... no highway department here tonight. They have other commitments. This, well, is, this is their notes. Wait, let him like finish, Bruce. Well, that's the discussion <clears throat> I had with Herb. Plus, at the same time, it's going out for possible removal without a cost to the town. Right. That, that so far hasn't gone too mm -hmm. good, but I'm just, I don't think that's enough money. Anyone else? Hi, Kat Washburn. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the police committee, um, the uh, police building committee, and I think the conversations that we were having was that the uh, Board of Health, um, the transfer station was going to take some of that debris and get rid of it. The steel was going to be either sold or given away, 
and the highway department was going to take a lot of that wood that was inside. So um, I don't I even understand why this article came to fruition from the citizens that put the petition together. But I make a motion that we pass this article over. Did someone second that? No, I don't hear a second, so we're still with we're still with a motion of two thousand five hundred dollars. When I looked at the warrant, there was a citizen's petition for like fifty six hundred dollars to remove that shed. How could we do it for so much less? It's you know half of what they were looking for. Mr. Moderator, yes. As uh, the discussion we had with Mr. Clark, the discussion I had with the highway superintendent, uh, and for Ms. Washburn's uh, comment, well, this money would have to go to pay for the Board of Health to remove that. It just does, they don't have that in their budget. Um, every discussion that we've had, 2500 would cover the, uh, the debris for that project. And if this does pass, the desire would be to pass over the citizen petition on the annual. All right, other comments? If not, all in favor of transferring $2,500 uh, for the removal of the salt shed, the old salt shed, uh, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, no? No. Uh, no. Um, I'm quite sure it is a yes, but we're going to, let's have a standing vote. I, I don't like ambiguity here. So, all those in favor of the motion, please stand. Thirty-five through eight. Article six. Mr. Moderator, I move that we adjourn this meeting. Second. Okay. Motion is made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. We're done. <laughs> See you back here in sixteen minutes.
Bruce W. Gadea, Council of Brookfield, pursuant to the within warrant, I have notified and warned the inhabitants of the town of Brookfield by posting a contested copy of the same at the U.S. Post Office on May 22, 2014, at 1, it's either 05 or 15, looks like 15 p.m., and at the town hall at 1.10 p.m. on the same day. Seven days before the date of the meeting as within directive. True copy of test. Michael Seary, Council. Before we um, get started, if we could uh, just take a moment. Um, June 6, 1944 um, was certainly a significant day in the history of the United States. With many people sacrificed and gave their all in the, in the cause of freedom. So if we could just take a moment to, to stand for those veterans um, who participated in any way in that event, um, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any um, people in here who are not registered voters in the town of Field? I have some business to okay. They're all over there. Okay, that's fine. Um, and a couple of other bookkeeping things uh, to do. When you, anybody in the audience wishes to speak, uh, would you please come to the microphones? We have two of them tonight. The first time you speak, um, would you identify yourself? Just in, all you need, you need is your name. Um, after that, you don't need to identify yourself the rest of the night. Um, please um, address all comments um, to me, and if you have a question of someone, I'll attempt to get you the answers. Um, Often, um, I should say often, it happens occasionally that debate continues for an extended amount of time. Um, when someone gets up to move the question, that means that they want to end debate on that question, and we go right to a vote on that. Um, and we, that's how we deal with that one. So if we want, when we move the question, if you want to keep talking about it, you vote against it. If you want to end the debate, you're going to vote for it. Um, anything else? Um, I think that would be that would be what we need to get to. Okay. Um, and then before I <coughs> One, uh, to see if the town will vote to accept the annual report of the town officials as printed or take any action relative well there too. Mr. Moderator. Yes. Okay, the second. Uh, any discussion? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 And those opposed, no? Yeah, that's a vote. Okay, in Article 2, in a minute, um, the procedure will be that I'm going to um, read to you a list of line items and the advisory committee's recommendation. If there's any article that you want to discuss or debate or whatever, please just say question. We'll make a mark on it. We'll go through the entire list. And then we'll come back and we'll 
only discuss the ones that people have, have mentioned that they want to discuss. Um, so, with that, um, Article 2. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate such sums of money as may be necessary to defray the expenses of the town for the ensuing year or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to raise and appropriate such sums of money as may be necessary to defray the expenses of the town for the ensuing year. Okay. There a second? Okay. Um, do either the Board of Selectmen or um, the Advisory Committee want to make a, any kind of statement before I start on this reading here? Mr. Comptoir, you want? You all set? You did a great job this year, Mr. Moderator. Okay. Um, the Advisory Committee want to say something? Or? Okay. Often. All right. Moderator salary, fifty dollars. Selectman salary, six thousand. Selectman administrative assistant wages, thirty-nine thousand nine hundred. Selectman municipal clerk wages, twenty-nine thousand twenty-three. Selectman expenses, five thousand three hundred sixty. Hold. Selectman fiscal examinations, 800. Selectman payment in lieu of taxes, $750. Selectman computer maintenance, 3,000. Selectman town website, 1,000. Computer security, 800. Selectman consultant, grant writer, uh, 5,000. Question. Selectman Computer Acquisition, 3000 Reserve Fund, 35000 Town Account and Salary, 48469 Town Account and Expenses, 5960 Town Account and Audit, 16000 Advisory Committee Expenses, 500. Advisory Committee Clerk Salary, 500. Advisory Committee Warrant Books, 1,000. Assessor Salary, 48,606. Assessor's Consulting Services, 2,500. Assessor's Expenses, 5,766. Treasurer's Salary, 28,000. Treasurer of Payroll Services, 5200 Treasurer of Expenses, 5000 Collective Salary, 32,378. What's that? 385. Tax Collective Tax Titles. 5000 Okay, I'm sorry. Treasurer, collector, tax titles, 5,000. You get a hold on that? Yeah. I do now. Okay. All right. Uh, collector salary, 32,000. And I got my glasses on. $32,378. Collector expenses, $8,400. Collector software, $1,000. Legal services, $50,000. Town clerk salary, $29,524. Town clerk assistant wages, $1,608. Town clerk certification, $1,000. Town clerk expenses, $2,675. Elections and registration wages, $5,900. Election and registration expenses, 7500 <laughs> Conservation Commission clerk wages, 800 Conservation Commission expenses, 200 
Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, 800. Six. Error. Which one? I'm reading off of, well, don't mind what I'm reading off of, but I guess I'm going to change it. No, there's some other stuff. No, but yeah. uh, since you really don't have to pay attention to me then tonight. Central Mass Regional Planning Commission, $867. Planning Board, Clerk Wages, $3,429. Question. Planning Board Salary, $2,500. Question. Planning Board Expenses, $1,110. Board of Appeals Wages, $770. Board of Appeals Expenses, $500. Municipal Custodian Wages, uh, $11,500. Municipal Property Maintenance and Improvement, $45,000. Question. Town Hall Improvements, $10,000. Annual Town Report, $1,800. Municipal Heating Fuel, $40,000. Municipal Diesel Fuel, $20,000. Municipal Gasoline, $26,820. Police Wages Full Time, $181,624. Police Chief Salary, $65,721. Police Wages Part-Time, $46,662. Police Clerk Wages, $9,968. Police Overtime Wages, $21,690. Police Expenses, $38,966. Police station expenses, $23,046. Fire <coughs> Department, fire wages, $16,872. Fire Chief salary, $3,264. Fire expenses, $28,950. Fire air tanks, $12,000. Fire recovering recertification testing, $10,600. Fire asset repair replacement, $10,000. Uh, telephone, $11,500. Building inspector salary, $15,133. Building Inspector Assistant Wages, $500. Building Inspector Expenses and Training, $100. Gas and Plumbing Inspector Salary, $3,746. Gas Plumbing Inspector Assistant Wages, $319. Gas Plumbing Inspector Expenses, $790. Wiring Inspector Salary, $3,720. Wiring Inspector Assistant Wages, $330. Wiring in Inspector Expenses and Training, $400. Zoning Enforcement Officer Salary, $9,456. Zoning Enforcement Officer Expenses, $380. Emergency Management Agency Salary, $385. Emergency Management Agency Expenses, $3,300. Blackboard Connect Annual Fee, 
Animal Control Officer Salary, 5,457. Animal Control Officer Assistant Wages, 613. Animal Control Officer Expenses, 2,000. Parking Ticket Clerk and Hearing Officer, $250. Parking Ticket Expenses, $100. Tree Warden Expenses, $12,000. Shade tree expenses, 2400 School committee salary, 1500 Regional committee salary, 1000 Regional school assessment, 1456743 Transportation, 79680 School expenses, $2,865,638. Highway superintendent wages, $51,051. Highway operator wages, $73,645. Highway other wages, part-time, overtime, $4,927. Highway Office Administrative Assistant, 16,351. Highway Police Officer Details, Flaggers, 3,500. Highway Expenses, 58,729. Highway Certifications, uh, 2,200. Highway Center Line Painting, 7,500. Plowing Private Roads, $1. Bridges, rails, signs, 1,600. Snow and ice account, 75,000. Street lights, $11,000. Cemetery wages, 16,316. Cemetery superintendent salary, 4,772. Cemetery expenses, 6,000. Cemetery improvements, 1,500. Board of Health Salary, 3600 Board of Health Clerk Wages, 3877 Board of Health Agent, 1569 Board of Health Animal Inspector Salary, 1072 Board of Health Title V Administration, 983 Expenses, 4000 Community Health Program, $950 Uh, transfer station wages, 22,842. Transfer station well test, 12,064. Transfer station expenses, 86,820. Council on Aging Outreach Worker, 1,500. Council on Aging Tri-Valley Crisis Intervention, 763. Uh, Medicare, 2000. Expenses, 400. Director of Veterans Services Salary, 690. Veterans Agent, $2,898. Veterans Agent Expenses, 240. Veterans Agent Casework, 40,000. Question. Library Director Wages, 37,444. Library Custodian Wages, 6,533. Library Assistant Wages, 28,586. Saturdays, Sundays, Holidays, Vacation Time, $3,357. Expenses, $11,700. Books, videos, periodicals. $22,645. Recreation uh, wages, $3,144. Recreation commission expenses, $7,700. South Pond Beach expense, $1,000. Historical commission, $1,250. Memorial Day, $3,200. <coughs> Cultural Council expenses, 
650. <coughs> Debt and interest. Regional school, $39,279. Are there any questions? Question, <clears throat> Highway garage principal, $84,530. Highway garage interest, $11,919. Town hall roof principal, $30,470. Town Hall Roof Interest, $4,296. Fire Truck Principal, $21,500. Fire Truck Interest, $2,150. Worcester County Retirement, $199,940. Unemployment Insurance, $25,999. Group Health and Life Insurance, $395,000. Medicare, 46000 General Insurance, 126970 Water Department. Commissioner's salary, 1800 Clerk wages, $10,505. Superintendent salary, $62,923. Secondary operator, 2,800. Temporary help, 1,000. Expenses, 31,900. Emergency squad wages, $146,626. Emergency squad expenses, 75,250. And emergency squad insurance, $4,121. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to attempt to go back through this and read you the items that I have for questions. And if we agree on that, then we're going to proceed to a couple of votes on the unquestioned item. But let's do this first. So, the items that I have questions on. Selectman's expenses. Selectman, consultant, grant writer, treasurer, collector, tax titles, planning board, planning board clerk wages, planning board salary, municipal property maintenance improvement, fire expenses, fire air tanks. Veterans Agent Casework, uh, Regional School, and three under the Emergency Squad. So, did I miss any? Last chance, hold now or never. All right. So, at this time, it would be appropriate for someone to make a motion to approve all the items that are not questioned. And we can take those off the table. So and then we'll go back through all the questioned items one by one until we get to the end. Okay? So, so moved, Mr. Moderator. Okay. Second. Motion is made and seconded to approve all the unquestioned items. Any last comments? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Okay. Now, I did not note who had the question, so as we go to these, just come up and that's who we'll recognize. I will allow you to make one comment, and then I need whoever's doing the questioning to make a motion to put a dollar amount in there so we have something to talk about. Um, if it's just going to be, what's this for? And you get an answer, then please say whatever the approved, whatever the recommended amount is, and we can go on. Um, but we need a dollar amount pretty quickly um, to have a discussion. Okay, 
Selectman expenses. Hello. Um, and first time up, first time up this evening. If you. My name is Bill Simpson. You're a mind reader. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. I can hear you fine. That's because Paul Provost came in tonight, spent several hours setting up the sound system that we have working for us, and uh, he dedicated his time and his efforts to that, and I would like to ensure that we have the same sound quality for the rest of our annual and special town meetings, and for that I would like to make a motion that we add $450 to the Selectman's Expense Account so that they can um, pay Mr. Provost or whoever the sound engineer might be to um, provide sound systems for these meetings. Second. Okay. Motion is made and seconded to um, increase selectman's expenses by 450. Okay, so, so I need to add this the old fashioned way, I guess. Hopefully that's $5,810. Okay. Um, any other discussion? Yeah, I see some in front, Mr. Holcar. Um, for seven years, I set up the sound system here. We, when I was on the committee, we bought a, a whole sound system, which is still over in the uh, studio. Um, we used, I used to do it. Our committee used to do it for seven years uh, on our own time. Actually, I had my own men come in here for a couple hours. And I paid them out of my own pocket to, for the town for seven years. So now to have someone to pay someone, I don't think it's right. It's a civic duty, and that committee should handle it. Um, we also used to have three microphones. It took four years for us to get sound here, and I don't think the town should have to uh, come up with the money. That's just, that's just my opinion. I don't think it's right. So thank you. While I appreciate the work that Mr. Holcraft and his committee did, this sound system is is much superior to the one that the, the town owns, but we actually have plenty of money in the selectman's expense account to do this. I don't think it requires a, uh, a motion on the floor to get this paid. I mean, there's still money left in their expenses, or there's money left in our expenses from, from the advisory committee. I don't think it's something that we have to I think if we get into the habit of putting every little detail inside the budget, we're going to be here until July. Anyone else? All right, well, the motion um, is for selectman's expenses of um, $5,810. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, please say no. No. Uh, we'll have a vote. So all those in favor, would you please stand? Bruce, were you able to get somebody to help you? Yes. Okay. Yes, he yes, was. <laughs> okay. All those in favor, please stand and Mike. Counters are going to take over. Moderator? Yes. I move to accept selectman expense for $5,360. Okay. Any discussion on that number? 
Okay. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Okay, that's a vote. Next one, um, consultant, grant writer, Bruce Clark. I just want to question that one. Uh, I don't want the selectmen know. Uh, recently, we've got emails on three more grant opportunities that are out there for us that just become available. I don't think $5,000 is enough to cover the expenses incurred if we decide to go after these grants. In fact, if we don't have the money, uh, it'll limit us from applying for grants. Mr. Monterey? Yes. I believe the advisory committee needs to answer this. I believe the selectmen uh, presented the amount of $10,000 to the advisory committee, and the advisory committee's opinion is a 5000 Okay, I think he's kicking the ball over to the advisory committee for a response. What did you say? Did you to what? To the, why we lowered it? Why we lowered it? We yeah. lowered it because they only spent $3,823 the year before. And, 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 when asked and it wasn't. Only as the wait, wait a minute, John. The past. I, I, I asked that I repeat myself. I said at the time when the selectmen brought their budget before the advisory committee, they had no response to what their plan was for the ten thousand dollars. It appears, Mr. Clark, that yourself and some of the other department heads have a plan for the ten thousand dollars. Well, grant opportunities are, are have presented themselves to us. Right. No, I understand. I understand. I'm just telling you that the response is the reason why it was initially reduced by the advisory committee was that there was no clear plan for what even areas were going to be applied for using Ms. that money. Mr. Moderator? Just, just a second. Yeah. Before, you, before we continue, did you make a motion? No. I, I, would you, would you yes, make I would one like for a dollar amount now and then we'll... I'd like to amend that motion to read $10,000. Second. All right, so now we're discussing $10,000 for the consultant grant writer. Mr. Moderator? Yes. Um, I, would, I would contest the uh, statement by Ms. Coughlin. The Board of Selectmen, when presented with this, uh, stated exactly what Mr. Clark stated, that grants are a moving target. You never know what's going to be out there. Um, fortunately, uh, we applied for a lot of grants through the highway department itself. We didn't have to pay out of this line item. Being a moving target, Mr. Clark bringing three up himself, you never know what's going to uh, be out there for an amount, and that's why the Board of Selectmen did recommend the 10000 I think Mr. Clark makes a, uh, reiterates the uh, sentiment that the Board of Selectmen have. Anyone else? Move the question. Oh, no. I was so close, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ed, no. <laughs> you can go right ahead and speak, because I was about to recognize Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. I was looking the other way. <laughs> Peter Misuso, I agree with Steve that, that grants are moving targets. We don't always know when they're going to become available. I can tell you certainly from my own experience in the past that we, we use, utilize several grants, some of which we paid for not out of that fund, out of a different fund that was privately raised money. So it would be wonderful to be able to have an access of money that can be used. These grants pay for themselves without question, but they don't come without a cost to write them. They have to be um, perfectly done, because if they don't, they come back, and there are people who are experienced in writing them, so I'm fully in favor of $10,000. Any other comments or questions? Well, if not, we're going to take a vote. All those in favor of Selectman Consultant Grant Writer being $10,000, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. 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 It sounds pretty good to me, but we're going to count them. So, all those in favor, would you please stand?
34. 23. Okay. All those opposed, please stand. Three. Two. Low passes, 5075. Okay. Um, the next one that I have is treasurer, collector, tax titles. Okay. Mr. Moderator, yeah. Don Taft. Uh, I'd just like an explanation why uh, that account has dropped down so much. I, I know we have some tax title <coughs> issues and just would like an explanation. Mr. Moderator? Who? Mr. Moderator, I'd like to make yes. a motion to allow our tax collector, I mean, I'm sorry, our treasurer to speak. Okay. Is there a second to that? Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. You've got the floor. Uh, the tax title, um, we we have, uh, I believe it's, let me see, 25 parcels that were taken into tax title. Um, and the town had foreclosed on these properties. And the amount of money that we're putting out every year to try and foreclose on these um, is getting higher and higher. And so we're moving to try and sell, auction off the tax titles, which is going to be cheaper for the town. Um, we do have, we, I, we've collected over $55,000 since January on the um, tax titles which is um, five parcels. And there's some issues with some of the takings, so that has to be corrected. It's not costing the town any money. So I'm trying to um, keep the tax title costs down because there are other options um, in collecting these instead of foreclosures. We have a lot of foreclosures, you know, that the town does own now, and we need to uh, figure out what to do with them. So the 5000 will cover all of the advertisement and all of the expenses that are related to that? Yes. Okay. Uh, that answers my question. Uh, okay, then would you make a motion um, that we vote on the $5,000 for the treasure collected tax titles? Okay. For a second? Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. $5,000 it is. <coughs> Uh, the next two that I have are planning board. Planning board, planning board clerk wages. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the annual budget recommendation for fiscal year 15 for the Brookfield Planning Board be changed from the stated recommendation to line 580, $3,329 which represents a 0% increase rather than a 3% increase. Line 590, planning board salary, $2,679, which represents a 0% level funding from last year instead of a minus 7%. And that the last item, planning board expenses, remain the same, $1,110. Level funded, 0% increase. Okay. Would someone... Um Second, just the, the first number, uh, planning board. And a word of explanation, if I may. Just a second. Okay. Planning board clerk wages of $3,029. $3,329. Is there a second? Second. Okay, go ahead. Um, we did not ask for an increase for the planning board clerk, and we do not desire for that 3% to be added to our budget. Anyone want to respond? Okay. Anybody else have any questions or comments then? Okay. All in favor of making planning board clerk wages $3,329, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Okay. That's the new number. And planning board salary. Uh, the motion, the, if you make the motion for the two sixty seventy nine, 
I, uh, I already did, but I will repeat it. In a second. Just so I, all I need is you to say the number, and then I'll get a second for it. Okay, $2,679. Okay, is there a second? <coughs> okay, you've got the floor to talk about that one. Okay, um, I believe on April 17th, the advisory committee did vote to level fund this budget, which reflects the figures that I've just given in this motion. Um, the actual figures we were given by um, the chair through Ms. Brogan were the ones that showed up in the budget. And on the 29th of May, I asked for an explanation as to why we got a 7% cut in the salary figure when no other board elected or appointed received a cut of this magnitude. I did not receive a response and have not received a response today. So I can only assume, well, I'm not going to make assumptions. So I would respectfully request that this amount be increased to level funded um, as per fiscal year 2014. Mr. Moderator? Yes. Through a joint discussion with the Board of Selectmen and the Advisory Committee, we felt that the uh, Planning Board's salary was a stipend position with the amount of $500 per individual. That's why we changed it. We basically corrected it to uh, reflect the $2,500. Mr. Moderator, I would like to know why, why it required correction and when and what figure did they, um, what rationale they had for picking this figure because uh, we were not notified that there was a problem with our budget figure. All right, someone want to respond to me? Mr. Okay. Um, I was not the chair at the time um, when, when this came to you. What we're doing here is the, the stipend's 500 for the planning board, and it was that when, you re, when your stipend was 500 is when the planning board started out. That's what you got. Somewhere along the lines, uh, you got an increase, a 3% increase somewhere down the line. Um, the elementary school committee, they got a stipend, they were at 500, they did not go up. Uh, the water commissioners, they have a stipend of 600. Now, a few years ago, uh, their stipend was brought back to, someone, you know, gave them an increase and that was brought back to 600. That's their stipend, 600 apiece for the three commissioners. And we tried to do corrections here on the budget and the stipend for the planning board is 500 and we do not give increases to stipends. And we just happened to correct yours, it just happened to pop up and we corrected it. So you should be at 500, um, not at the other figure. I hope, Moderator, I'm sorry, go ahead. Um, I hope that explains that to you. Actually it does not, okay. not Words. all the way. I would like to know, Mr. Moderator, through you, um, where it says that the stipend is 500, just for our own reference. You're asking the wrong person. Who can answer that? Well, I can I can say that it was 500 from way back, and it's the elementary school is the same. Uh, it's been 500 for our secretary on this board for a long time. Um, she does not get an increase either, and nor do the water commissioners, nor do the elementary school committee either, or the selectmen. <clears throat> it's a stipend. You do not get the three percent. So, like I said, Sharon, somewhere along the line, you got an increase. The planning board got an increase. And we're just trying to correct it. And I, and I have asked uh, through the moderator um, where the $500 figure came from as a standard stipend for the planning mm -hmm. board. I would also like to <clears throat> add parenthetically that um, we got the town, town meeting voted in these increases. Again, we did not ask for them, but town meeting voted them in year after year after year. Mm -hmm. And to bring us back to 2008 levels without even notifying us that there was a problem is um, I just have a problem with that especially where no explanation was offered until tonight. Uh, Sharon, I'm sorry you're so upset. I, I'm not you, upset, I just want an answer. You sound upset. But anyway, um, the, our meetings are posted, public. You, you've attended a couple of our meetings. So I sent out an email to let everyone know what our final votes were on things. You responded and said you wanted to know what it was. I forwarded it to the committee. Nobody showed up at our, our committee meetings. Ms. Brogan, I asked for an answer, and I was taping that night, and I did want a response, and I did not get a response. And I was, okay, as I this, said, as uh, you said, the you The chair were, will be recognizing sorry. people, no? Don't get in sorry, such short conversations here. Yeah. Well, I believe I said all I had to say. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Okay. Mr. Mitel, you've been waiting patiently. Always. <laughs> Not a question of the figure, but just a question of the language a little bit. As Ms. Mahoney pointed out, when the chairman of the advisory committee said that someone changed the figure at some point, 
that was the voting body before them, and then to say that they had to come back and correct it. As a voter, I take a little bit, a little bit of offense that town meeting action had to be corrected. It's usually the other way around. That's all. Mr. Moderator. Yes, I would answer uh, Mr. Mah uh, Mrs. Mahoney's uh, question in regards to when this happened. It's, it's historical. It was five hundred dollars. I remember serving on the on the elementary school committee back in '06 when all of the numbers were changed. Uh, they were increasing them by that percentage. Uh, Mr. Gilmeister, myself, and uh, Ms. Cinco objected to that, and I believe we put a question on each line item. This one obviously was an oversight. That's what these two boards are doing this evening: is to correct that to bring it back historically to the five hundred dollar stipend. All right. Anybody else? Uh, the motion in front of us is for $2,679. Any other discussion? Yes. I would also like to point out that if both these motions pass, the one that was just passed and this one, it would represent only a 1% increase over the level funded budget for fiscal year 2014 an amount of $79. Thank you. Mr. Booker. Um, getting back, if, if, if we allow this to go forward with you people on the planning board, then if you're getting an increase on your stipend, then everyone else in the town should get a stipend. We're just trying to be fair and honest across the board here. Um, and that's, that's why we're trying to do this. Um, we're just trying to be equal and fair, and that's, that's where we're at right now. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Motion $2,679. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, please say no. 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 Okay, we're going to stand up and count it. All those in favor, please stand. Property maintenance and improvement. No, that one wasn't question. Yes, it was. Forty-five thousand. Somebody questioned that one. Well, if no one questioned it, then I'll, I'll, uh, I didn't question it, but I wouldn't mind no one to ask what it's for. All right. Simple question. Okay, you're, you're referring to uh, the increase. Yep, for thirty. Okay, the forty-five thousand. Uh, we got money in there for the. They put in the selectman put in ten thousand for improvements to the town hall. That's the line out nope, below that. Below. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We 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 put this in here. Part of this is going to be used for the new septic system uh, on the police department. Um, and also for the town hall and the fire station and the ambulance squad building. We put it in here now um, so it doesn't come off the tax rolls. Um, we had the free cash and we, we're going to take it from free cash and build this up. No, no, no. Huh? No, no. 
We have enough money. To okay. Finish. All right. But the, the the additional money in here is is for the septic system for all the buildings. So when they need it, it's going to be there ready to go. So there's no holdups. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe a portion of the police station money, uh, as presented at the special town meeting, included a septic system. Uh, no, that's not four, true. For all the municipal buildings. And I believe the figure was 25000 of the police station money. No, that's not true. It was just an estimate of what the septic system was going to cost, but it was definitely not coming out of the uh, the uh, police station money that was allocated. Mr. Moderator, James Cook, in all due respect, Dave, you're wrong. Peter O'Connell made a big point of saying that money would be allowed to be used for the septic system. I was here. I remember it. No, it's not to come out of the money we allocated to build a new police station. No, that's not true. Mr. Mr. Moderator, I move to... Wait, wait a minute, I got somebody coming up, I think. Hi. Um, I support this motion. Um, uh, the, the septic system is for the town hall and the, the entire municipal complex, um, which comes into conflict with the money that was voted for the police station if the entire septic system was paid for out of that budget it would be a, a conflict of what the town voted for for the 1.6 million um, and we do need a septic system um, so i support this motion mr moderator yes i move to accept forty five thousand dollars for municipal property maintenance and improvements Second. Second. Thank you. Thank you. any other comments questions <laughs> Then, all in favor of the figure 45,000, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. That's a vote. Uh, the next couple are in the fire department. Fire expenses. Um, who had that? Oh, okay, go ahead. Mr. Moderator, I move the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of. Speaking of Mike. Sorry, we can't hear you. Mr. Moderator, I move this town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $28,950 for fire expenses. Second. Second. Okay, go ahead. The question is, is more of a procedural than the number because the number is less than was requested, but earlier drafts and earlier town meeting, there was an additional column in the budget that the voters were allowed to see, which was requested. Mm -hmm. At this point, the voters don't see what department has requested. They only see what was recommended. So this figure, in this specific case, is $500 less. We'll manage. But I just like it pointed out that the voters aren't given the information as to what was presented to the Finance Committee, sorry, Advisory Committee, for what they requested for a budget. They were only told what the Finance the Advisory Committee is recommending. With that being said, the figure will manage. Comments or not? The motion stands at $28,950. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. No. It's, it's, it's a vote. That one I'm determining is a vote. Uh, next one, air tanks. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Martell. I move the town vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $12,000 for the purchase of air tanks and protective equipment. Okay. The reason was when this was first submitted, it was submitted as an article and it was for both of those items. At some point it was turned into a line item. Procedurally that means nothing to me if it doesn't matter to the accountant, but it was submitted for air tanks and protective equipment. I'm afraid that if we only pass it for air tanks, it would limit our opportunity to buy protective equipment under the role of people type of thing. Are you asking the town accountant to respond to that? No, I'm just making her life easier because I'm going to spend this on protective equipment and then she's going to come back and say, well, we didn't vote protective equipment, we only voted air tanks. 
So by doing this, it actually is what I originally requested. But it was just trimmed down, probably just for semantics. Okay. Good. Yes. Can you just explain for me then what is fire asset repair and replacement? Fire asset repair and replacement, which where are we? A couple lines down. For the most part, that's the for the most part that's the vehicles. That's the, the large scale things on the vehicles. Um, I usually put it to the to your committee in the metaphor that you know, if I were to replace a light bar in one of the trucks that comes out of asset repair, but if I were to replace a headlight, it comes out of expense. So that's pretty much we usually spend all the asset repair easily within the first eight months of the fiscal year, just taking care of the fleet. But this is a specific item, and for the sake of clarity, just putting it in there, saying Airpex protective equipment. We could raise the whole thing. You shushing? No, no. I'm trying to shush myself and just clarify your motion that I changed the title of 910 to fire, fire air tank and protective equipment. Yes. Okay. okay, any other discussion, questions, comments? So it's the 12,000 figure with a different um, title. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed, no. Okay. The next one that I have. Veterans casework. Did I miss something between? Okay. Veterans casework. Mr. Moderator. Yes. Mr. Erkeler, I moved the amount of forty thousand dollars for line eighteen thirty veterans agent casework. Okay. Second. All right. Uh, I just have a question. Could somebody who is in the know uh, provide a little detail on why it's jumped a hundred percent? Mr. Moderator. Yes. Uh, the reason why it was increased is because of the number of veterans that are using the service now. Okay. Any other comments or questions? Okay. Uh, veterans agent casework, 40,000. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. All right, that's a vote. The next one I have under debt and interest is the regional school. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I move to approve the amount of $39,204 for regional school. $39,204? Correct. Okay. Motion is made and approved to change that amount to $39,204. Any questions on that one? Okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Okay, that one's all set. And uh, emergency squad. Um, wages. Who wants to I'll start address, in? I'll address all three of the emergency squad uh, questions. Uh, in essence, it should not have been included on this sheet as we're going to be voting these amounts as part of the Warren Articles because of the, the structure that we currently have between our ambulance wages account and how we fund our ambulance services. It was intended to be put on there with a comment for reference only, just so you can see the department kind of lined up against the cost of the other departments, uh, and that didn't make it onto the final sheet. So we'll be voting those items as part of the Warren. So I'd like to... Um, Make a motion for all of those to be at the sum of zero dollars on the on this particular warrant article. Do we even need it on the, a motion for that, Mr. Uh, currently, it's well, the, it's not they're on here, and I've okay. called them. Um, so uh, I would allow a mo for th for those three zero dollars. Um, if anybody wants to have a discussion about it, we can. So, and there was a second mm -hmm. right. to put zero, raise an appropriate zero dollars for those three items. Okay. 
All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no? Okay. So, that is the budget. So, now we go back to um, Article 3 to see if the town don't be afraid to interrupt me. Don't let me go too long here. To see if the town will vote to authorize the town treasurer. Hint, hint. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote on articles 3 through 12 as printed in the booklet available at the front desk. Second. Okay. Any discussion of these? The 3 through 12. Okay. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. And those opposed, no? Okay. Article 13. Mr. Moderator. Wait, wait. Now you guys are going too fast. Slow down. <laughs> Richard, to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the general fund to the cemetery preservation fund or take any action relative there too. Mr. Comfort. I move that the town vote to transfer $1,043 from free cash to the cemetery preservation fund. 1,042? 1,043. Okay, any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. aye. I thought I heard a second. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. Okay. Article 14. To see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the ambulance billing receipts account, which was established according to Chapter 40, Section 5F, to the fiscal year 2015 ambulance expense account, or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $75,250 from the ambulance receipts reserved established according to Chapter 40, Section 5F to the Fiscal Year 2015 Ambulance Expense Account. Second. Okay, motion is made and there's a second. Any discussion? Yes, no? Uh, we, the ambulance needs a new heart monitor, so the $35,000 of that expenses goes for a heart monitor for the ambulance. Okay, any other comments, questions, discussion? If not, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, no. That's a vote. Article 15. <laughs> to see if the town will vote to transfer a sum of money from the ambulance billing receipts account, which was established according to Chapter 40, Section 5F, to fund the ambulance wages account for FY 2015, 2015, or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of 146626 from the ambulance receipts reserved established according to Chapter 40, Section 5F to the fiscal year of 2015 ambulance wages accounts. Okay. Any discussion on this one? Explanation of why it's gone up is for the last 20 years we've been getting a stipend of $25 for a 12-hour shift to be uh, in town, available on the radio, uh, to go on ambulance calls. And in since the other towns are all much higher, we're starting to lose some of our EMTs to the other towns. They're usually about $50 for, for a, a sh eight hour shift. And ours is $25 for 12 hour shifts. So I just wanted to bring it up to $35 for 12 hour shifts and for weekends and holidays it's an eight-hour shift, if you understand that. So it'd be, it'd be a raise from, to, from 219 an hour to 291 an hour. Questions? All right, any, any comments or questions? 
Okay, hearing none. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, no. All right, that's done. 16. To see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate a sum of money to fund the road construction and reconstruction account or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $14,000 for the highway construction and reconstruction and improvement of town roads, bridges, and sidewalks account. Okay. The motion is made and seconded. <coughs> Mr. Martel. What was the amount requested by the highway department? Thirty-five thousand. Which we had an open meeting, and Mr. Chafee agreed to this amount on a joint meeting with the selectmen and the advisory committee. But at that meeting, he made it clear that this may affect services and conditions of the roads and mm -hmm. over the year. Mm -hmm. no. No. no, no, no. There's no. still money, Ms. Moderator. Yes. Moderate. At the meeting. We discussed the fact that he still had money in an encumbered account. So the total, I forget what the total was when we added the 14000 to that. It came out to over the $35,000 that he had requested. Mm -hmm. There's, yeah, there's $26,000 left in the account from the year before. Actually, Did you, Miss, wait a minute. 25th, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. As of the end of May in that account that was voted $35,000 last year, there's $20,000, $635,000, left. Okay, Mr. Clark. I was instructed by Mr. Chafee today to request $35,000, as has always been in the past. Um, we all know road reconstruction doesn't go very far for $20,000, but you're at fourteen now. And did you also change where the money could be spent? No. No. You, you said bridges and. No, no. It's the same. It's the same account. Same, same wording. Same wording. Uh, it's an account. Well, it's a different a different wording than I have. Then that's all. You know. Mr. Moderator. Yes. That this was the amount that Mr. Chafee agreed to. There was a quite lengthy discussion in regards to this amount. I specifically looked at Mr. Chafee and said if he was okay with this before we even voted on it. I'm not here to argue with no. you. No. These figures were written by him or his secretary mm -hmm. this morning. I, I, I think we should put the 35000 back in the account. I think we're asking for trouble if we don't give the highway department enough money to maintain the roads. Mr. Moderator. Mr. It's just, just a second. Mr. Tom, I need to look for something and then I'll be right with you. Okay, go ahead. If someone from the advisory board can, do they, he has over 30000 in that account with this figure right now. What's the total going to be? He'll have 34000 with this addition. So we'll have what he was asking for. Thirty-five thousand dollars 
added to the 20 that's still there will get exhausted nearly by the end of this by the end of fiscal 15. So it would be appropriate to put the full 35,000 into the account. All right, someone else. Mr. Moderator, just to recap that, okay. we, we do have a listing of projects and the defense of it. We did not have that at the, the joint meeting, so it's, it's a different discussion than we had at the joint meeting. And I think that's why the request is being put in now for more money. All right, any further comment? Or can I just ask what the motion before us is right at the moment? If I understand it correctly, Mr. Moderator, we had a motion for a certain amount, and I think um, one of the previous speakers made a motion to amend to some other amount. So I'd just like to know whether we have a motion to amend a main motion, or could you just give us some guidance, please? Thank you. Yep. The uh, number that Mr. Clark mentioned was 35000 because I was just going to ask that very question. Thirty-five thousand instead of um, whatever. I'm sorry. Instead of the fourteen, so it's thirty-five thousand. Did he That's make a motion for that? Yeah. yeah. Mr. Clark made a motion. I thought there was a second to it. Yeah. So it's, it's we're talking about the thirty-five once we finally vote on a motion. Good evening, Colleen Parker speaking. And my question isn't as much about how much money is being requested, but why is this a late breaking development? Shouldn't this have been planned for in advance? Why are we addressing it here tonight? Mr. Moderator? Yes, I, I agree 100%. Um, the amount should stay at 14000 in my opinion. I don't know what the other Board of Selectmen members feel. Um, we, we have Chapter 90 money that covers projects that are ongoing. This account that was described to us by the Highway Superintendent is pretty much for uh, extra projects, kind of an emergency fund uh, for the Highway Department. All right, any other? Um, when I was on the advisory committee just recently, we looked at this account. This is a this is an article that goes on the town warrant every year. Last in 2012, he asked for 25,000. In 2013, he asked for an additional 25,000. Coming into fiscal 2013, he encumbered the 25,000 that he got on the town hall floor. Going into fiscal 2014, he encumbered 26,000. So he was given 25, spent 24, and pocketed 26. Now he's asking for an additional 35,000 from the previous year and the previous year from that that he did not spend. That was the reasoning and the basis for the advisory board to give him only 14 with the discussion with the selectmen because he wasn't using the entire amount of money that we were giving him on the town hall floor every year. He was encumbering it and building it up. So to give him an additional $14,000 would give him the amount of money that he was looking for above what he was looking for at that point. He has spent some of that money. I'm not quite sure on what. But I think that if he requires more money than he's encumbered over the last couple of years, then maybe he should come back to the town and ask the town at the special for more money. But at this point, he's not spending what we're giving him, so why should we give him even more money than he didn't spend the previous year. Thank you. Other comments or questions? Can we vote with the questions? If you get a second and we get a vote, you can. Okay. <laughs> okay, motion is made to end debate on this question. All in favor of ending debate, please say aye. 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 All those opposed to ending debate, please say no. Okay. The motion in front of the floor is the 35000 So, all those in favor of the 35000 number, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. no. We're standing for this one. Okay, all those in favor, please stand. Thirteen. 
Okay, all those um, opposed, please stand. I'd just like to say one thing. Um, we we talked to the highway superintendent and we told him if he did need more money in an emergency that he could come back to the board and at the special and he was very good on that. So I don't, I, you know, we did, we made our recommendation when he came before us and one lady just asked why are we doing it now? This is why. We, we got good information from him and he was good with it and we're just trying to use monies in our town wisely and that's why now the whole thing has been switched around at the last minute. So there is money there. If he does get into a jam, we have money to help him out. Thank you. And there's uh, chapter 90, I believe, for the roads in our town. We have 300 and something thousand dollars sitting in an account. Uh, some of that will be used on Mill Street, but we do have quite a bit of money set aside for roads in our town. So we're not hurting right now. Are you saying something or are you walking back? No, I'm right here. Oh, by the way, I'm Bill Gilmeister. I didn't <laughs> identify myself a little earlier. Uh, I'd like to move the previous question. Okay. Motion is made to end the debate on this one. All in favor of ending debate, please say aye. 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 No. Okay, the motion is $14,000 from free cash. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. No. That, that motion. All right, um, Article 17, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money from the driveway permit account to the driveway repair account or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer from the driveway permit account the sum of $2,325 to the driveway repair account. Okay. Motion is made and seconded. Any comment, questions, discussion? Okay, take a vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. Okay, that's a vote. Uh, Article 18, to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money for the library building maintenance account or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator, yes. I move that the town vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $7,500 to the library building maintenance account. Okay. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion on this? Questions? Comments? Okay. All in favor of the transfer of $7,500, please say aye. Aye. Those opposed say no. Okay, that's a vote. Um, Article 19. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money to be used as a 25% match for a renewable thermal and district energy grant or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer from free cash the sum of $7,500 to be used as a 25% match for renewable thermal and district energy grant. Okay. Mr. Moderator. Yeah, just a second. Motion is made and seconded for $7,500. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to let everyone know that I received word earlier this week that the feasibility study um, mentioned in the article has been approved. I also talked to Mass DOER, um, and they are in full support of the project. We are the only district energy uh, grant that was applied for. Um, so uh, I, I would I would adamantly uh, suggest that everyone that, that we approve this 7,500 because it looks like we're going to get the, the grant for the design. Any other? 
comments? Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. No. Okay. Um, medical 20. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow of sum of money from the ambulance billing receipts account to line 216 of the FY15 budget group insurance or take any action relative thereto. Who's got this one? Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $4,121 from the ambulance billing receipts account to line 216 of the FY15 budget to group insurance. Is there a second? Okay. Mr. Martell. What was the figure again, sir? 4,121. Okay. It doesn't say on this or in there. Who sponsored this article? Mr. Moderator? Yes. I believe this was uh, brought under the advice of the advisory committee. Somebody from the advisory committee want to agree or disagree or with it? Okay. I'm, I'm getting a bunch of nods, so I'll go on with that. In the interest of full disclosure, as I understand it, this takes money from the ambulance reserve fund, puts it in group insurance to pay my benefits as a full-time employee, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. It also says that this is part of a pilot program. Were the selectmen aware of this pilot program when this was written? And the fact that this will affect the operations of multiple <coughs> appointed and elected committees and boards, the board's okay with? Okay. And the school has come out and said that they will not participate in this? Sorry? Somebody want to... Okay, he gave a lot of questions, statements. Anybody want to respond to any of them? Mr. Moderator? Yes. Will the Board of Selectmen unanimously support this article? Okay, it, they're talking okay about how about his other... How about his other comments? That would be a question from the advisory committee. Okay. Anybody want to... we received no communication from the school committee about this. Okay. Was this proposed to the school committee? We have a member of the school committee who sits on our board and communicates with the rest of the school committee. Okay, so was it brought back to the school committee? Because it, Mr. Monterey? If the basis behind it sorry, is about full transparency and the school business manager has come out and said that they're not going to participate in it, that's a lot of budget that's not in there. Ms. Monterey? Yes. I, I question the school committee business manager isn't here. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you that personally, Chief they, Martell? They told the accountant that. She did. We did not receive any of that communication from the accountant. Mr. Moderator. Right. Mr. Okay. Uh, Mr. Confoy, you've got the floor. I'd like to make a motion to allow our town accountant to speak. We have a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 The floor is yours. Um, I think at the beginning of the uh, fiscal year, we had a a department meeting to talk about ideas to try to lower the levy or to free up some of the levy and that was one of the things that I know other towns do and I was curious of how it would work with Brookfield. Um, I believe the selectman's office sent a, a note or a, a memo, a letter to um, Deb Boyd and she and I had a conversation. It was, it was long before the budgeting process. I had no idea that this was going to be part of the budgeting process. Um, it was not something she wanted to explore because we receive Medicaid payments that go into the general fund. And we had a conversation about it offsetting the price of the insurance for the school. Long before the budget process ever started. So, I mean, that's all I know. There's about. no official position from the. I know what I was told. I know the conversation I had, but I don't know if anything came back in writing. Uh, okay, through please, the moderator, please, I, yes. through the moderator, yes. I know I have. I spoke to Miss Boyd. So did uh, Mrs. Wilson. We 
put all of the warrant articles and everything before her last week and the week before, and there was no objections to any of them. Well, I can't see her objecting to this one because it doesn't involve them. And part of it is to list transparency. Knowing that the, the ambulance director wasn't consulted about this ahead of time, the other point that can be made is, and again, since I've already explained who I am, my job isn't just on the ambulance. There's fire department functions, there's the emergency management functions, and some of them we've already done. Building maintenance falls under that. We used to pay out of the fire department, out of the tax levy, for janitorial services. We used to pay under the tax levy for inspectional services for the fire department. We, used to pay. we never did. But grant writing is done as part of my full-time position for fire, for emergency management, and that's all funded by the ambulance. So there's a great deal that the ambulance funds that the town gets for free. If you drove through the center of town a couple of years ago, the ambulance was paying me to mow the common. The ambulance has paid me to push snow around in the winter. So to take the full amount out isn't being as clear as perhaps the goal was because the town is receiving a benefit from that position funded by the ambulance. The town has a, inspect, a fire inspector that's funded by the ambulance. So at a minimum, if I would prefer this be at least passed over so until a better study could be done, but at a minimum, I think the figure should be cut in half because the duties that are done for the balance of the town are at least equal to those done for the ambulance. So I guess I could start with a motion to pass over, which I'm not expecting. Do you have a second? Second. second. All right, first part, we'll deal with it. The motion is made to pass over the article. So we're going to vote on that first. If you want to end debate, please say aye. 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 If you want to keep debate going, please say no. 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 Well, that sounds like an end debate to me, but... Um, We'll verify it. Again, please, if, if you want to end the debate, would you please stand up? You need a little stretch. Question. Right. Uh, it was as though it was a motion to end debate, and I think, and I know myself was voting to end debate, not on the desirability of passing over this particular question. So I, I think we should vote on the, uh, we should vote on the motion to pass over. Mr. Moderator, there was no motion to end debate. Yeah, but. Well, let's, let's do it this way. If I was mistaken in interpreting what he said, then I made a motion to um, end debate. Yep. And that would bring it back to um, passing over. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a vote now on whether to pass over the article. Now, that's, my other, that's, that's what we're going to do. So if you want... If you want to pass yeah, over the article, order, you're going to vote. Order, Mr. Monterey, yes. I was standing up at the mic when you did that, and I didn't have an opportunity to speak. And I would like to have my opportunity to speak before you make your motion since I was already standing. Right, you were, but it's, uh, this is, we've cut it off too late. But there was it, no argument. That's, sorry. If, it's not if. Moderator. Okay, that's fine. 
Sorry, but that's, this is the way we're going to proceed. If you vote to pass over the article, then we will. If you vote no, then we don't pass over the article and we go back to discussion. Based on what you want to do, you need to decide how you're going to vote. All those in favor of passing over the article, please stand. Passing over the article, please stand. Eight. Fourteen. The motion is thirty seven to twenty two to pass over the article. Okay. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I don't know how procedurally you want to handle this, but I believe this article had everything to do with um, our budget. So now our budget is out of whack to pay this. No? I'll take a quick question. I don't want to get sidetracked on this, but go ahead. Just with, in our figuring of the, the insurance, we did make allowances in case this article did not pass. Okay. So we're still covering Okay. Um, Actually, Mr. Moderator, we're back I, to. If I may, though, we've already changed a couple other lines, like Grand Rider, et cetera. So before we end everything, could we hear back from the account at the end of the meeting where we are on the tax levy? So if this was already conceded, things like the Grant Rider yeah. and the Planning Board would have effect. If this balance budget was balanced with certain presumptions. Some of those have already been changed. Planning board, grant writer, etc. So one of the that sounds like that sounds like an excellent question, but and I will certainly keep that in mind before we get to the end. All right, no doubt. Okay, um, twenty-one to see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow the sum of five thousand nine hundred twenty dollars to pay for removal and disposal <coughs> cost of the old salt shed located behind the town hall for Central Street, or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I move that the town vote to pass over this article. Motion is made and seconded to pass over this article. Second. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Motion is passing over. Um, article 22. To see if the town will vote to raise an appropriate transfer or borrow a sum of money from the fire station roof account to stabilization or take any action relative thereto. Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move that the town vote to transfer the sum of $2,208.85 from the fire station roof account to stabilization. Motion is made and seconded. Any discussion, comments? Yep. <laughs> As the guy that got a roof out of the deal, I'd like to thank Mr. Comtar for coordinating. I don't know how you pulled off materials alone for under 10 grand. That was a big roof. And you actually got more roofs. You did one roof that I was hoping for, and another roof I wasn't even planning on. And I didn't think you'd be able to pull it off with the 10 grand. The Tantasco group did a phenomenal job to you and me as well in the electrical division. So again, I'd like to thank you and them publicly for their efforts. Very nice. I'll let you digest that one. <laughs> Any other comments or questions? <laughs> okay. All in favor of transferring the $2,208.85, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, no. Okay, that's transferred. Article 23. To see if the town will vote to amend the town's general bylaws, chapter 3, town officers, by adding a new section 5 as follows. Section 5 is printed in the booklet, or take any other action relative thereto. Who's got this one? Mr. Moderator. Yes. 
I move that the town vote to amend the town's general bylaws, chapter 3, town officers, by adding a new section 5 as follows. Section 5, unless removal is otherwise prohibited or restricted by law, the Board of Selectmen may remove any member of an appointed board or committee after a meeting held in accordance with the open meeting law for reasons consistent with the progressive discipline policy for paid employees of the town. Okay, is there a second? Second. Okay. Motion is made and seconded. Mr. Cook. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, the bylaw committee only met a couple nights ago and it's just had a brief chance to look over this article. We have some serious reservations about the wording, therefore I'm going to move that on behalf of the bylaw committee that we pass over this article at this time. Second. All right, motion was made and seconded to pass over this. So, um, if you want to um, have a discussion about it, we need to vote. My, uh, what I'm about to say, if you want to have a discussion, we need to vote it down. So, all those in favor of passing over, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed to passing it over, please say no. 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 Boy, that's, that's too close for me to call. Um, all those in favor of uh, passing over the article, please stand. What's that? Pass it over. All those who want to just pass over this thing. Twenty-six. Eighteen. Okay, all those who want to have some discussion on this, who are not in favor of passing it over, please stand. Seven. General bylaws as follows by replacing the existing chapter 4, sections 1 through 4, with the following language, new or revised language noted in bold, as printed on the rest of this page and the next page and the next page, or take any action relative thereto. Who's got this one? town vote to amend the town's general bylaws as follows by replacing the existing chapter 4 sections 1 through 5 with the following language new or revised language noted in bold as written in the warrant book okay okay and then we I hear a second second Okay, I have an extra part also. And to delete from the town's general bylaws, Chapter 5, Section 7, which authorizes a separate capital improvement planning committee and amending Chapter 3, Section 4 by replacing the word advisory with the word finance throughout said section. Uh, just, just a second. Linda, would you mind reading just the last part of what you said? I want to see, just for my own information, how it's different than this booklet, and then, then we'll go. It's in the booklet, okay. What's that? It's, it's exactly in the booklet. Oh, well, that's what I was doing. Okay. Okay, Mr. Cook, now you've got the... Okay. Um, the bylaw committee, again, met and discussed this article, and we have, again, some reservations about the wording. We'd actually like to take another look at this and spend some more time working over the language, so therefore I'm going to move that we pass over this article as well. Second. Second. Okay. Motion is made to um, 
pass over the article. Um, Mr. Siri, who just happens to be the secretary of the bylaw committee, as well as the town clerk, legally posted the, this meeting, Linda. So I was certainly notified. It was posted no, properly. No. And uh, people notify everybody of meetings. Um, you can talk you to the secretary, but I believe you were notified. No, I was not notified. Well, not okay, uh, I, that's <laughs> that is important, but it's a little bit off topic here. Just one, and then we'll decide how to handle this. So my question, let me interrupt and say something. So did you have a quorum at your meeting? Yes, we did. Okay. I have a question, and my question is, it's in the warrant book. I took the time to read the warrant. Everyone came here to vote on this tonight. Why didn't the committee, if you had trouble with the language of it, why didn't you work it out in advance of this meeting? Okay, before we get off on that, in answer to that, although it's pretty important, let's decide what the first part of this, whether or not to pass over this. If you want to pass over this, uh, I'm going to call a vote in a minute, say aye. If you don't want to pass over it, if you want to have a discussion and try and answer some questions, say no. Okay. All in favor of passing over this article, please say aye. Aye. All those opposed to passing it over, please say no. 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 That's a vote. Yeah. That's a vote. Okay. Um, article 25. To see if the town will vote to amend the town's zoning bylaw to add registered marijuana dispensary as a permitted use, subject to special permit by the planning board, through the establishment of a medical marijuana overlay district as follows, as written in the warrant on several pages, or take any action relative thereto. Who's got this one? Hi there. Okay. Mr. Moderator, I move Article 25 as, as written to see it, that the town will vote to amend the town's zoning bylaw to add registered marijuana dispensary as a permitted use subject to special permit by the planning board through the establishment of a medical marijuana overlay district as follows written, and I, I can read it all if anybody cares to. If you care to have me, Mr. Moderator, I will do so. Otherwise, uh, we can leave it to people's own reading skills. I would certainly accept what's in the book here without you reading it all. Now, the, the planning board, is there a second to that? Second. Okay. Second. Now, the planning board, um, I think, gets to make a statement first. So. Uh, the planning board has held uh, a couple of uh, public meetings, one an informational meeting and the other a required public hearing for the zoning bylaw change. And the uh, planning board endorses this, this amendment, uh, uh, rather this, uh, yes, this amendment to the town's zoning bylaw. Uh, it is a, uh, an additional use permitted in certain business A and business B yeah. zoned areas of the town. Uh, these areas were chosen because they are away, they are away from the uh, most populous center of the town. Uh, and they will allow the, uh, the establishment of a registered marijuana dispensary in the indicated areas uh, only in the town. It does not restrict the property rights of those people who own property that is currently zoned business A or business B. But should they wish to establish a registered marijuana dispensary or rent to someone or sell to someone who wishes to do so, they can do so with property in those uh, areas that are in the overlay district. 
Okay. Anybody have some questions? Well, be still with the mic and It also fulfills the uh, requirement by the state that each town make it possible for a registered marijuana dispensary to be located in the town and at the same time addresses certain public safety concerns, especially with regard to uh, the distribution, either accidental or intentional, of marijuana products to uh, underage children. The mic. Go to the mic and go to the mic, please. There's a mic in the back there, Phil. Gary Lincoln, I think we ought to hear from the chief as far as what he thinks about this. Uh, I don't think we need to get into the business of marijuana in the town of Brookfield. Are you making a motion? I would like to hear from the chief. Yes, I make a motion. We hear from the chief. Second. 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 Motion made and seconded. And all in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, Mike Blanchard, chief of police. Um, you know, like you said, you, you have to provide the opportunity for them to come in. It uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to come in, and, and most likely they will not be in Brookfield. Um, there's only certain amounts that they're going to have, um, so I, I recommend that you support this article as written. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bill? Mr. Moderator. Yes. I would like to actually move to a minute, and it's going to be... Uh, be subsection G4 location which is on page 8 of the booklet be item B under number 4 location I'd like to strike 500 and insert 2500 Motion is made and seconded. Mr. Moderator? Mr. Moderator, if I may speak to my motion to amend. Yep. Mr. Moderator, if I understand this correctly, um, no, uh, no such facility can be located within 2,500 feet of a child care facility, a library, a playground, public park, youth center, these are all the places where our kids are, um, are, are congregating, are having fun in wholesome activities within the town. And I think that we need to protect the children of this town. And I think a 25 foot zone around these facilities is much more appropriate than a mere 500 feet. That could be, you know, right across the street from the, from the school. It's not very far at all. And I really think that this needs to be broadened much stronger up to 2,500 feet. And I, I, I would ask uh, the citizens of Brookfield to support this motion to amend by striking 500 and inserting 2,500. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Good. Mr. Moderator, yes. uh, the 500 foot buffer zone that was uh, suggested in the original uh, motion that I made uh, will allow the establishment, as per Massachusetts general law, of a registered marijuana dispensary in the overlay districts, uh, as indicated in the attachments to the uh, to the presentation that are available at the town clerk's office and have been available for over six weeks. They were also presented at our informational meeting and at our re our required. Uh, public hearing on the matter. Uh, a buffer zone of 2,500 feet, 2,500 feet, not only is uh, extremely large relative to any other town's uh, bylaw for this purpose, but would effectively eliminate the possibility of anyone locating a registered marijuana dispensary 
in the town and would very likely be uh, the cause for the Attorney General to uh, eject this bylaw and send it back for amendment. Um, it, it's my understanding, correct me please, but isn't the general law that a buffer zone around schools in general for drugs or you know whatever you can incur some serious charges, is that like a thousand feet? Um, no, no. The, the state regulation actually only requires a buffer zone of 300 feet. We increased it to 500 feet. Okay. I'm, I'm just saying that it doesn't make sense that we would only go with 500 feet when law, and the chief can help me clarify that maybe, says that you, know, you can incur great charges for distributing drugs within a school zone, et cetera, that, et cetera. That buffer zone applies to individuals this applies to the actual establishment of a dispensary, which is a different matter. Okay, we let the chief first. And we'll just, just, to just to her point, um, it, it used to be a thousand feet. They've since reduced it. Unfortunately, we can't hear you. Chief Blanchard, um, the thousand feet she's referring to in a school zone it was a thousand feet. They've uh, since reduced it to either five hundred or two hundred and fifty. They've, they've really reduced it. So, you know. Any questions on that? All right, Mr. Gilmore. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Um, I, I guess I would just I'll comment first on what the chief just said. Uh, just because they've done that, that doesn't mean that we shouldn't add uh, additional protections when it comes to this particular item. This is well within our purview. I would also point out that uh, relative to uh, an earlier comment about this would uh, the 2,500 uh, foot uh, sort of buffer zone, if you will would effectively uh, prohibit one of these facilities from being in the town of Brookfield. And I guess I have to think about that. And if I go across the river, I'm reasonably certain that there's an area over there where one of these facilities could be put up. I would also think that uh, somewhere on its way down to Route 9 somewhere, uh, there would also be uh, other places where people could go in north. and so. This does not effectively prohibit. Uh, it's just literally placing uh, a buffer zone around where our children are going to be playing and congregating and, and engaging in wholesome activities. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Mr. Cook? Um, since there's been a lot of... Turn the mic around. <laughs> since there's been a lot of court cases and litigation surrounding this issue, with the moderator's permission, can I ask town council a question? Um, what has the state attorney general said the buffer zone limit should be? Right, we should. Mr. Moderator, I make a motion to allow town council to speak. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Good evening. Um, can everyone hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, the, this issue has come up many times um, because many communities are having the same discussion that you're having about what is the appropriate um, uh, buffer zone um, from, and the phrase in the regulations is uh, children commonly congregate. Uh, the default is, um, as I believe the chairman of the planning board said, um, which is the state, um, in the state regulations is 500 feet. Um, the attorney general has approved uh, other um, larger buffer zones, um, including 2,500 feet. Um, so that has been um, uh, uh, subject to the, uh, the AG's approval. However, um, the uh, approval by the Attorney General does not necessarily insulate, in my opinion, a town from a challenge um, that a um, uh, lawfully licensed uh, dispensary would be prohibited from locating in the town. Um, what the Attorney General's review does is um, say that on its face, a bylaw is not subject, to, is not inconsistent with state law. Um, whether or not as a practical matter in any particular situation, I, um, someone seeking to operate um, a medical marijuana dispensary would um, could challenge that uh, the uh, bylaw effectively prohibited the operation and therefore 
um, could challenge the bylaw at a later date, even though uh, the Attorney General uh, may have approved it. Um, so, uh, I think, I would just note um, that I think there is an issue, and the Planning Board may have um, considered this as, and I would also then address this to the moderator, uh, that if the uh, uh, bylaw <coughs> proposed 500 feet, whether or not a tw an amendment to 2,500 feet would be within the scope of the article, given the, um, that the uh, difference is, 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 is significant. Um, and so I'm not sure how the moderator would rule, rule on that question. Um, but um, the Attorney General has approved uh, uh, that uh, buffer zone from places where children commonly congregate of 2,500 feet um, as not being inconsistent with with state with the state law. The and there haven't been any court cases um, challenging that. The moderator was hoping that someone would eventually ask a question um, that would better delineate for me if there's really some place left. Now, if this place is left and it's in somebody's neighborhood, that's not my problem, unless it's my neighborhood. But, um, you know, we, so we have to, so I'm letting this, I'm letting this go until I hear some evidence that it effectively does away with it. Once I hear that, then the town has to decide their own situation, how they want to approach this and what they want to do. So. Hi, Tom Regan. Uh, I would like to ask the uh, gentleman from the uh, planning board if he has any information or maps that would indicate the areas of the town that would be prohibited <laughs> from hosting a registered marijuana dispensary given the, five, the proposed 500 foot buffer zone. The numbers 500 and 2,500, I feel, are abstract. Let's take a look at what they are proposing would be prohibited. With the thought of downtown being covered, protected by, or protected, you could say, by the library, the elementary school, and Lewis Field, there, I don't think there's much in downtown that could host this with those three things around it. But is there a map? Let's look at it. Let's get some real facts rather than abstract numbers and fear. Thank you. Mr. Moderator. Yes. Uh, five, 500 and 2,500 are not ab abstract facts. 500 feet is not a large distance. Um, I commend Mr. Gilmeister for his amendment. Uh, I, am, I am satisfied with the Attorney General not throwing this out on any other uh, ruling or town by law. I, uh, move to, I make a motion to move the question. Second. 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 Right, well, I'm going to see the map. We can't hear you. Let me point out again, the maps have been available at the town clerk's office, and the town clerk will attest to this, for over six weeks. And there was a public hearing held and duly posted and notified. So anybody who was interested in this should have looked at this beforehand. Well, in that case... We'll have a, the motion is to amend, that's the, section four, no, let me see how this is written now. Section, Mr. Moderator. Section three, Mr. Gilmeister, are you going to go just wanted right to, to it? I just wanted to remind you that you have a motion to end debate on the floor right now, that's all. Thank you. Okay, repeat your motion, then, so we know exactly what we're. What we're I want to. Okay. I want to know what you're going to debate when we put what we're going to vote on when we finally get there. If, that, yeah, no, if there's only one section that's 2,500 feet, that's what I want to know. Mr. Moderator, you have the booklet in front of you, I assume. Yeah, I do. Okay, on page eight. Yeah. Number four. It's yep. about in the middle of the page. Yep. Item B. It currently reads, RMD buildings may not be located within 500 feet of the following. My motion is to strike 500 feet and insert 2,500 feet. And that's the only place? That's the only place, Mr. Okay. Moderator. Yep. All right. All those in favor of ending debate, 
please say aye. 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 All those opposed to ending debate, please say no. The debate is ended. All those in favor of the amendment changing from 500 to 2,500 feet, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, say no. 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 It sounds good, but we're going to have a standing vote just to make sure. All those in favor of the 2,500 feet, please stand. Okay, all those opposed? Okay. Eleven. So the amendment is accepted uh, 34 to 21. All right. Now we're back to the full motion with one change in, as in the booklet. Okay, go ahead. Matthew Graves, uh, the previous two articles we heard from the bylaw committee. Can we hear from the bylaw committee on this article, please? Mr. Moderator, um, um, the, the bylaw committee is not charged with uh, dealing with zoning issues or personnel issues. Maybe the bylaw committee would speak for themselves. But okay, anything else? Uh, Mr. Moderator, the uh, extension of the buffer zone to 2,500 feet effectively uh, eliminates any of the business A or business B areas in town that would be appropriate for a facility that processes stores and uh, distributes or sells uh, marijuana products. Uh, could it be located uh, in other places in town? There are certain restrictions about locating that kind of a facility in rural residential areas because uh, manufacturing is inconsistent with uh, the use of rural residential areas. However, I might add that the growing facilities for marijuana, uh, because it is an agricultural pursuit, commercial agricultural pursuit, can be located just about anywhere that agriculture is uh, allowed as a right. And that is under Massachusetts general laws. Mr. Moderator? Yes. I, I, I'm very passionate about this. I, I, do, I believe the, uh, the lawmakers in Massachusetts got this wrong. I understand it's a citizen's petition. But there are a lot of citizens' petitions that our legislators actually uh, pass over and basically give us the middle finger, for lack of better words. And I apologize for that, uh, that, that phrase. But uh, this, this is something that is a controlled substance. It's illegal. Uh, it should be distributed in pharmacies like other controlled substances uh, that are bringing down this country, let alone our community. Excuse me, Mr. Contour. Mr. 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 Moderator, sir. You are speechifying. Mr. Mr. Moderator. Mr. Mr. Moderator. Point of order, Mr. Point of order. Mr. Moderator. Point of order. He is not speaking to the, to the top. Point of order, Mr. Mr. Moderator. And, and for that matter, I'd like to move the question. Second. All right. The motion is made and seconded to move the question. All those in favor of moving the question, please say aye. 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 All those opposed, no. No. All right, the question is moved. Now, uh, we're taking a vote on the approval of the motion with the one substitution that we had before. And it requires so, a two-thirds standing vote. Yep. I'm, I know that. Given my, given my mistake once before, I, I'm a slow learner, but I'll pick it up once in a while. Okay, all those in favor of approving the article, would you please stand? Well, we voted it, right. So and that's, the 2,500 is, the article is, is the motion now.
Uh, 30. 18. Okay, all those opposed, please stand. Zero. Okay, motion. Motion passes 48 to 1. All right. Um, Article 26. To see if the town will vote to transfer some money for free cash to the stabilization account or take any action relative there to. Who's got this one? Mr. Moderator. Yes. I move with great pleasure that the town vote to transfer the sum of $221,073 from free cash to the stabilization account. We'll take any action thereof. Is it? Okay. Motion is made and seconded to transfer $221,073? Correct. Okay. From free cash to stabilization. Mr. Martel, you? More of a comment than a question, but Considering that we have ample money in stabilization per the Department of Revenue guidelines, I'd really prefer in the future we look at addressing capital improvement plans as put forth and address capital improvement needs rather than just put a lot more money in a passbook account that we don't need there. I just have a general comment as well. I think it's time we started using free cash to reduce the tax rate, to alleviate the burden on the homeowners in this town. Mr. Moderator? Uh, who is yes, Mr. Tomlin. Yes. Um, it's important that we keep our stabilization levels um, above 5%. The Department of Revenue recommends 5% for a bond issue, I believe. Daddy? Yeah. And they really recommend 7 to 10% of your budget should be in stabilization for a healthy town. Um, we are going. We are doing well right now. We got, and we're going to have to spend a lot more money for our fleets and other issues coming up. So I would really recommend we put all this money into stabilization because we're in a good position right now. Okay, just a comment over. No. Okay. Any other discussion? If if not, all in favor. Of transferring to 221073, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Can we get a number Thank from you. Betty on what the budget is going to be with all of the yes. changes now? Yes. Yeah. Um, my question is to put money into stabilization, we need a two thirds vote? Yes. So let's count, let's stand so I make sure I got this one right. I'd like there's one no vote. All those in favor of the transfer, please stand. take a motion to adjourn, um, someone up here want to give us a summary of where we stand relative to the levy limit or free cash or anything? With the town meeting and all the transfers, you have an excess levy capacity of 13545 That's based on estimates, you know, on state aid, local receipts. But it's a, it's a good amount to walk away from town meeting with. It certainly isn't a lot, but if it stays at that rate or gets even more, it will lower your tax rate. Um, your current stabilization balance will be six hundred and eighty six a little over six hundred and eighty six thousand. And there is no free cash left. It's all been spent. Okay. Any other questions? Now I'll take a motion to adjourn. Mr. Moderator. I move yes. to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor, please aye. say aye. aye. Have a good evening. Aye.